my question was, uh, in your book, you talk about Jim Morrison. And it, if you could talk more about that, did you ever meet him? And I don't, it, it sounded like you weren't inspired by his performance. Oh, no, no, no. Uh, uh, what he's talking about is in my book, I talk about how I went to see Jim Morrison in like 67, I think, and was sitting there thinking, I could do that. And, uh, but I also said that I was a little embarrassed that I thought that. It's not that I wasn't inspired. I just felt this strange kinship. I mean, you have to figure, I was a, this, uh, just a girl from South Jersey working in a bookstore. I don't know why I thought that. And uh, it was, it was uh, a mystery to me. And um, of course, I admired and still do. I mean, Jim Morrison was one of our great poets. and. Um, unique performers. I mean, his body of work uh, will always endure. And, um, but it, it was just what I, why I t brought that, why I wrote about it. I had a few different times in my life when it never occurred to me to ever perform or ever be a rock and roll singer that I had this strange, almost pre, what's the, what's the word? Uh, not premonit, anyway, I had a, I had a strange sense of something that I still can't explain. So um, it wasn't against him. It was trying to examine myself. I did was meet him once. was a kinship then. I did oh. meet Jim Morrison once, just once. Uh, it was uh, um, probably around 1970 or early 1970. They had a party. They used to have press parties for, for, um, for rock bands. And sometimes the rock bands would be there. And they had one for the doors. And we never had enough food. So I would go to these because they would have lots of food <laughs> and uh, bring a bag and you just take the food. Because I didn't really like the parties. So at the, the doors party was really cool because they had these long tables with all the food. And then you went into the party. So the food was first. first. So I had this big bag and, you know, I'm getting food for me and Robert, you know, I'm taking fruit and bread and all this stuff. And then I hear this voice go, the hamburgers are really good, too. <laughs> and I look and way at the end, sitting all by himself, was Jim Morrison. And I was like, uh, I caught, you know. But I just went over and got a hamburger and said, thank you. And he just, and he nodded and that was it. 